One of my favorite inspirational stories is that of Mel Fisher. It's just such a powerful example of, uh, of the power of maintaining uh, faith and belief in your dreams regardless of, uh, of obstacles and the many challenges that come up. And the reason why I wanted to share this story is because I was just having a conversation with one of my friends who just last week lost their entire business overnight. And actually, several of my friends last week lost their entire business overnight. Uh, I, I do eBay drop shipping as well. I have an eBay drop shipping business. And so in last week, there was uh, an issue with a software that a lot of eBay drop shippers use that compromised their business. It violated eBay's, eBay's policies. And because of that, eBay shut down their entire store without any recourse. They don't even have the ability to open up a new store and start over from scratch. They're banned from eBay completely, even though it wasn't their fault. And, um, and, I, and I know how hard this can be because I've, I've lost everything before and had to start over from scratch. And mentally, it is very challenging. It can be hard to, to maintain belief and, and, and faith in, um, and you know and that everything is gonna work out. And so the story of Mel Fisher is one of my favorites because of the, uh, um, you know, the fortitude that this guy had to just keep going. So in the, in the 1600s, there was a, 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 a fleet of Spanish ships that were sailing across the ocean. They were moving about 40 tons of gold and silver. And there was a storm that happened and these, and these ships sunk into the ocean, never to be found. And so for many years, centuries actually, People went out there searching for this treasure. I mean, because the fortune, you know, anyone who found this was going to be, you know, wealthy beyond their wildest dreams. And so, um, you know, it was always the, uh, um, you know, a lot of myth and, and mystery around, you know, who was going to find people, you know, treasure hunters and pirates. Everybody was looking for this treasure, never to be found until Mel Fisher. Mel Fisher, as a boy, he was uh, very captivated by uh, treasure hunting and treasure maps and pirates and all that. And, and he decided that he, when he grew up, he was gonna dedicate, and, and dedicate his life and, and go out and find um, this, the treasure that was hidden out in the, in the ocean and uh, that was sunk by these ships. And so for almost 20, it took him almost 20 years of his life to finally find the treasure. He went out there every single day, day after day, day after day. And even on one of the trips, he lost his son and his son's wife. There was a, a boating accident and, 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 it, and it cost his son's life and his son's wife on one of the trips. Yet he still maintained faith in his dream, still kept going. His ad and everybody always said that his attitude was, today is gonna be the day, today is the day. No matter how many times that he went out there and really didn't have any idea where this treasure was, he just kept going out there with faith that, you know what, today's the day. Today's the day that I'm gonna find it. Today's the day that I'm gonna find the treasure, that I'm gonna accomplish my dreams. And in spite of all the odds, failure after failure, day after day, week after week, a month after month, a year after year, for almost 20 years, he just kept persisting, going out there, not like, like trying to find a needle in a haystack. You know, really like a needle in a haystack that's the size of a, you know, a football field. That's really what this was like trying to find. But he, his attitude was always that today is the day. He never, those who, uh, who worked with him always would say that he always maintained good attitude. That he always believed today was the day that he was going to find it. And so, whatever it is your dream is in your life and what you're going after, you have to identify really what your core beliefs are. Because your beliefs are what are gonna keep you going in spite of the hard time. And two very important attitudes ad, attitudes to have, core beliefs to have, is that number one is that it's there. What you're looking for is there. You have to believe that um, your goal, you know, whether you wanna become an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, you know, you whatever it is you wanna achieve, that you have to believe that your treasure, it is there. It's out there somewhere. You have to understand and trust and have faith that hey, you know what? Maybe today didn't work out so good, but tomorrow I'm gonna try again because guess what? It is there. And then also the second attitude, the second really core belief that you need to have is that I will and that I must. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, they don't accomplish what it is that they want to during the day because it's not a must for them, it's a should. You know, for example, working out. Um, if it's just a should, you know, I, I should start working out, you know, I really should. You know, most likely you're not gonna work out. But if it's if if, it, if you're a, if it's a must for you that working out is such a part of your life, it's like one of the most important things for you that then it's a must. Then you will. 
You know, even if it means that you gotta wake up an hour, extra hour early, you know, you're already waking up at 5 a.m. to catch a flight. Um, you know, I have friends that'll wake up even earlier so they can get their workout in. And so when it's a must for you, then you'll find a way to get it, get it done. And, and so obstacles are gonna happen, just like they did to Mel. You know, he lost his son, um, who was dedicated with him in helping him find this treasure. Um, failure after failure, had you know financial issues, all kinds of things that happened, but he never gave up faith. He always believed that today is the day, that was his motto, today is the day. He always believed that it's out there. Hey, it is out there, it may be difficult to find, but hey, it's out there that I will and that I must find this. And so whatever you're going through in life, dust yourself off, understand that things happen, but sometimes courage is just a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, hey, you know what, I'll try again tomorrow. Try again tomorrow, dust yourself off, wake up tomorrow with another great attitude saying today is gonna be the day that I find the treasure and that I will and that I must. And no matter how long it takes, even if it takes five, 10, 20 years, even if you have to switch courses, you know, maybe you have to switch jobs, maybe you have to switch businesses because you find that the business model that you were in isn't the appropriate vehicle to get you to your treasure. You know, maybe you need to switch business models or maybe you need to change something else in your life to help you to get to that end treasure. But as long as you keep that attitude of today's the day and I will and I must find it, then you'll keep going. You'll still keep maintaining faith. Obstacle, obstacles are inevitably gonna happen. And eventually, one of these days, just like Mel Fisher, who finally ended up discovering this treasure, ended up um, discovering about a half a billion dollars worth of treasure. Um, I think I believe he was about 76 years old when he finally found it. If you just keep up just like him, then eventually one day you will discover your treasure. And, um, and yeah, and then everybody will be looking up to you using your story as an example. So never give up, guys. When there's a will, there's a way. Always stay committed. And hey, today is the day.